she's starting to show off some of her classic uh, classic adventure Mimi traits with one day to find a different route. <laughs> Okay, episode 11 of Digimon Adventure 2020 has landed, and it was an interesting episode, definitely with the whole splitting up that they mentioned they had to do from last week's episode. And we finally delve in a little bit more about this version of Yamato's uh, character within this series a little bit more as well. But, but let's just talk about the review. Let's quickly do a quick recap of the episode. So at the beginning, we can first see Mimi and Tai and and Koshiro going in their direction and with their team. And and Mimi starting to show off some of her classic uh, classic adventure Mimi traits with wanting to find a different route. She doesn't want to climb up something and stuff like that. And then Palmon just helps her up with her poison ivy vines to get up to the top. And then we cut cut towards Yamato, Sora, and Joe's group, and they walk through a desert. They end up being attacked by Sandianamon slash a, an ultimate level called Scorpiomon in the desert. Along with that, they uh, meet up with a group of small Digimon, I think, led by a Nanemon. The Digimon that was like one of the Digimon like uh, Digimon we see in Frontier that helped the Digidestins in that. It's nice to see some newer Digimon from older series from well newer series but older now in the sense of release. But in this universe of adventure, seeing some of those Digimon now being incorporated into this digital world, it was really nice in a sense. But it really does them that way but yeah so they continue that they work up a plan to attack or protect these Digimon so they can get to Leomon so there is a mention of Leomon and this Leomon is fighting the resistance so I'm curious about how this is going to play out later on or, or if we're going to get a similar take on 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 Leomon it similar to the original way he gets affected by black gear and started attacking the uh, chosen chosen children or and something like that don't know but hopefully it's not the case but hopefully this leomon breaks the curse as well of all leomons and doesn't die but i don't see that happening that's a common trait with a leomon in any incarnation a leomon always ends up perishing but, I digress, so Yamato didn't want to help, so he left off, walked on his own, saying that uh, he's got Gabumon because he didn't, he didn't want to open up. Yet, he has the Crest of Friendship, but yet all the kids still don't know what the symbols on their digivices are. Uh, but we all know them as their crests, uh, and he has the Crest of Friendship, and during this he just learned that it's better up to open up to them because they are going to become his friends and everything like that. And during this, Garumon digivolves into where Garumon, halfway through to finally defeat Scorpiomon, and then they now continue on to their direction of where they want to go. Then it cuts to, back to Tai, it... Koshiro and Mimi's group and Mimi was just looking at those while Koshiro was taking pictures of all the like hieroglyphs of uh, symbols written on the walls. Reminds me similar to when it was him and Mimi in one of those old uh, like structures in the original series and they met up with a Kentarus Mon who was affected by Black Gear and but then they defeated that black gear and they worked worked along inside them so it was really nice to see that in a way and and it reminds me of that as well in the set uh, Mimi ends up pressing a secret burn within the wall and falls down and that's where it ended in the episode so overall the animation for this episode was really really good and 
and it was really fun as well and and it was really nice to see some of the detail of 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 where Garumon as well in this episode a lot of the detail was very showing very intact and very on the point and I really do like how they went with this version of where Garumon yes it's the same where Garumon is using the same attacks but but he's a bit more of a confident fighter a little bit more and we actually show him more of his fighting style in this definitely with the scene where he uses is doing the classic capturing blade with two fingers and then destroy and breaking the arm and whatever with his attack with his kaiser net nails and everything like that. so it was really really nice the animation was on point the colors were crisp and bright and i really loved that as well the sound was brilliant as well and it just overall seems like a great it was a great episode definitely with Yamato opening up a little bit more was something something that needed because he was the loner and that's definitely is is a trait of Yamato's where he was a loner and he hasn't got friends but in this episode it's starting to show up that he has got friends and why he's doing what he's doing is to protect his little brother Takaru uh, because he's living in Tokyo and is in the darkness and just quite shows as well in that regard but other than that this episode was great and I really did enjoy it enjoy it comment down below what you liked and didn't like down in the comment sections down below and and see and tell me what you liked about this episode but other than that i've been your host kai from kazi take one and i'll see you next time but for now see ya another great episode again guys and definitely we're learning more about that lone wolf at the end uh, during this episode as well like always you can check out what appears on the screen here and check out my other video reviews, my other videos, or my other channels that appear on the screen here as well. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to give it a uh, subscribe, click all on the bell notification, and click all to keep up to date with all my videos for the near future. And don't forget to check out all my social media platforms, links down in the video description down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. See ya.